Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. It's day 13. We're over the we're over the halfway point. It's all, we are. It's all downhill from here. But it's an unlucky number. Well, I think in some cultures. Uh-huh. Other cultures, a different number is unlucky. Yeah. I don't remember what all those cultures are and what all those numbers are because it's all... It's all nonsense. Yeah. Um, but we have day 13 is more beers. So that's always a good number for us. Yes. <laughs> yes. Today's beer is something that I brought, yes. which is a big pen of. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Ah, this is <clears throat> El Meleven's Alien by Choice, a blackcurrant guava passion fruit biscuit crumble sour. Yes. Have you had this one? Uh, I don't think so. I remember buying it, but okay. I don't well, remember I'm a, drinking it. I mean, Home Eleven's been doing... They, we, we interviewed him back way, way back in the day, Matthias Days, because he won the uh, Malmo oh, right. uh, Local Brewing Championship, and yeah. then he apparently went to Gothenburg or Stockholm and started brewing, but then he came back and now is part of Molecule Brewing yeah. and uh, does really, really good stuff. I would say probably the best... Pastry sour, Sweden. pastry sour brewer in in Sweden, yeah. if not the the Nordics. Yeah, um, and and in between there, he brewed for minus one and under Bishop's Arms Pub in yes. uh, Central Malmo. Um, and I would say, so far, I haven't really had anything from him that I thought was uh, was bad. Um, they've all been pretty solid releases. Uh, this one is, we say what the ABV was? It was, um, b- 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 oh my God. Why blue writing on, on red? <laughs> I think it's 8%, but I can't be sure. I, I can't, I can't read, I can't read that. It's way too, too difficult for my, my poor Six. set. I, Six, okay. 6%. Mm. I could read it by taking off my glasses. Wow, well, look at you, the, Mr. The secret technique. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so it smells good. Murky, dark. Purplish color, yeah, with and nice pink foam. You definitely get the say black currant passion yeah. fruit on the nose. Uh, it's mm, super fruity smelling. You would almost say like apricot or something, but it's probably yeah. the passion fruit coming through. Probably maybe mixed with the guava. Um, we all know my love of guava beers, which is nil. But um, this one actually is really good. I've had this one before, and I was like, I'm going to add this to the calendar. Nice. I wanted to, I wanted the Elm 11 beer in the calendar because he's doing so many good things recently. Uh, this was the latest release of System Log, so I was like, we got we to gotta throw this one in because it's super fresh. Let's try it. All right. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is really good. That is... I'm getting a lot of, it's some kind of spice. I wouldn't say yeah. cinnamon, but some kind of Almost baking like a, spice. like a licorice kind of flavor. Yeah. Um, I, I, I get, like, I guess the crumble, when you have a crumble, it's usually like butter and flour and cinnamon and maybe a little right. nutmeg. Nutmeg. That was the word I was looking for. When? Uh, when we had a previous episode and I couldn't think of what the oh. word was, the spice wasn't oh, looking for. Oh, I was saying, saying cloves. And yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, I think it was the Christmas episode when we, were, right. when we had the um, the gingerbread stout. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of the word nutmeg. nutmeg. Nutmeg was not coming to me. You can just dub over the old yep. episode. Yeah, I'll go back in. And, just, and it changes. Yeah. The same time I go, um, um, I'm like, nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> like a voice from the, the heavens. <laughs> nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> we should do director's commentary on all of our episodes. Yeah, good to go back and do a director's commentary. Yeah. We were really drunk when we did this one. <laughs> I keep, um, I keep getting reminded of the director's commentary of Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> have, have I talked about this on the show? I'm pretty sure we have, but yeah. you can you can you can do it again. We have it's been a, it's been a moment. Uh, Arnold hasn't seen the movie in like 15 years, and whenever something happens, he goes, "Oh, that was such a good scene." <laughs> oh, oh wait, is this the scene where I kill a guy with an axe? 
And and it is. <laughs> but the director is so serious. He's like, here I used undertones of Norse mythology to create a sense of the impending nature of mankind and and uh, the superfluity of uh, of uh, human relationships. And he and, completely leaves out all of the cocaine at the time that yeah. was that was consumed and, by and him. <laughs> so I've never heard two two um, directors commentary people be more misaligned with each other <laughs> going into. I don't know. I watched. Um, I listened to. I watched Spaceballs with the director's commentary, oh. and it, it's it's pretty good. And then. About three fourths of the way, Mel Brooks is just like, "Well, I'm done." <laughs> it was like it was last 15, 20 minutes or so. It was just like no director's commentary anymore. <laughs> what? Yeah. So he's not reacting to what happens on screen. No, no. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the beer real quick. Um, I get, I get a crumble sour out of this. Honestly, it's one of the few times I've actually had a beer like this where. You get all of the fruit, jammy kind of flavors, and then you get kind of this biscuity, cinnamon, yeah, almost a little flour kind of flour, as in the cooking flour, right. not the the Daisy. plant, yeah. Um, and then you get this nice cinnamony, nutmeggy kind of kind of aftertaste. Uh, it's really a, a journey in the beer. Um, from, from start to finish. And I would say the aftertaste is super... It's really heavy on blackcurrant. Bis- biscuit and cinnamon and blackcurrant and uh, like just fresh out of the oven. <laughs> I mean, this is a... I think this is a very amazingly done beer. Uh, one of the highlights of the calendar for me. Nice. It is really good. Um, it's 425 good. But you might give it higher. Um... Again, this falls in the 425 plus yeah. kind of count, kind of region. Um, it's not 100% there for me. I think if the fruit profiles were a little different, if it was like blackcurrant, peach, or apricot, yeah, uh, maybe some cherry, I would probably like it better. I don't think the guava adds anything. Uh, I don't think the guava does either. No. Um, but the aftertaste is, for me, the most amazing part, which is this, you get the biscuity, cinnamon, crumble kind of flavor that merges with the tart, jammy, berryness of the of the uh, black currant. Um, so if it had been blackberry instead of black currant, I think it would have also. Yeah, been, maybe. Been but, a good but, choice. but I do like black currants in beer, so yeah. so that's a, that's a win. No, but yeah. it, it really feels like uh, Andres can do. Basically, yeah. no wrong. He does really great stuff. Uh, yeah, so far, I've enjoyed most everything I've had from him. I really haven't had anything that I didn't enjoy, and I really wanted to make sure we included one of his beers yeah. in the calendar this year. Uh, since we're highlighting, I wanted to highlight Swedish brewers and, right. and what they're doing. Yeah, the, uh, whenever Elm Eleven's name pops up, it's always a sure thing. Yeah, uh, uh, 100%. On the bar, on Systembolaget, it's always... Uh, Correct. Yep. To buy it. All right. Well, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, you can find us online at what's on tap podcast.com, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify. This was day 12. And nope. until next time, this was day 13. Stay day 13. Blah, 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 blah. Day 13. So until next time, keep drinking, you dum dums.